it's John here and welcome back to another how-to video today we're gonna be showing you guys how to download mods on Minecraft now I know I've done videos on this before but things have changed uh, Chrome has changed a little bit Minecraft has changed a little bit and there are a few uh, little obscure things that people are asking me questions on today that uh, I think I need to clear up so that way it makes it easier for you to do that's out there to download mods on Minecraft now first and foremost if you're trying to find mods for 1.13 or higher they don't exist they do have mod type things uh, that could work it's called rift uh, rift sorry I'll put a link in the description below you can watch my rift videos on how to download mods for 1.13 there are no mods for the snapshots as of yet and there is no forge for 1.13 if you see links out there for forge for 1.13 chances are it's for 1.12 and you're being fooled if you see videos out there that say mods for uh, forge for 1.13 uh, um, as of today today is december 17th 2018 there is no forge and no timeline for forge to come out anytime in the near future uh, for 1.13 as of yet uh, let's go ahead and dive into it and I'm gonna show you guys how to download mods first i'm going to show you guys uh, how to install them and how to create the mods folder if forge for whatever reason doesn't install the mods folder on your uh, computer i'm doing doing this on pc but i'll also put instructions on how to do it on mac so don't fear i will show you guys both methods so hold on real quick let's go ahead and jump into uh, we have minecraft open right now let's go ahead and turn off minecraft as a first and foremost you want to have nothing on your screen um, at all and i'm going to go ahead and jump into uh chrome um, i like using chrome you can use any browser you choose um, I enjoy using Chrome because it makes my life easier. Everything is kind of tied into it. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so Forge is the first thing you're going to need to download in order to download mods. If you find Forge on another website, just don't download it. There's really no reason to download it from anywhere else. These are the guys who make it. These are the guys who upload it to this website. So you can download it from a fairly safe place. There are things you should not click on and i'll go over those as we go along so first thing we're going to need to do is find the version of forge that matches the version of the mods you want to play so say you want to find you found a mod that's for 1.18 you got to download the right forge version for those mods you can't mix mods between different versions of forge and minecraft so you have to find the specific mod for that specific version of forge you want to mash up Get what I'm saying? Okay, I hope so. If I don't, it didn't make myself clear because I think in my head it sounds freaking confusing. Uh, ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer the questions for you guys as I try to do it on a weekly basis. So I'm going to download 1.12.2. Even though I already have it, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it regardless. If you have uh, a Mac, you're going to click on this installer here where it says installer, just a little file box looking thing. If you have a Windows PC, you're going to download from this where it says Windows installer. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to click on the Windows installer and it's going to pop up to this window here. Don't click anything down here. Notice this countdown. That's all you're interested in. If you click on any of this crap right here, you chance damaging your computer with viruses and other wrong stuff that will just destroy your machine. I'm putting a big X over it right now. Just don't <laughs> wait till it says skip and then click skip. Here's the I've already downloaded, obviously, before, but I'm going to go ahead and download it again. Here's the issue we have with. Uh, saving. I'm going to save it into my downloads folder. I'm going to say save. And it's going to give me this automatic error message. This is the issue we've been having with Chrome because Chrome has been updated and it wants to say dangerous. So Chrome has blocked it. Do you want to discard? You can go ahead and click discard. I'm going to show you how, how to get around that. Um, the reason why it says that is because it's not a registered piece of software with Chrome, with Windows, with Apple. These are independent guys making, uh, making Forge. Um, it's safe i've downloaded it and installed it thousands of times so i trust it wholeheartedly if you guys don't that's up to you if your mom and dad don't want you guys to install it also ask permission first um i i would suggest that you you go ahead and do it because it is safe if you feel uncertain in any which way shape or form just don't just stop right here turn around and just go play vanilla minecraft we're going to click on these top three buttons the very top right hand corner of your windows of your chrome browser if you're using uh, Safari or Edge or whatever it may be, the settings are going to be somewhere else. But for this one, it's right here. So you're going to go to here and you're going to go on to, you're going to click on settings down here. It's like almost at the bottom. 
I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to open up this window here. And at the very, very bottom, scroll down, it'll say advanced. Click on advanced. And the fifth, I think it's the fifth, one, two, three, four, five, sixth. Six little tab down. You're going to see this automatically turned on, this little toggle right here where it says safe browsing. Protects you and your device from dangerous sites, which it does. But for this case, we're going to shut it off temporarily, just for a minute. We're going to leave the settings window open. We're going to go back to this window here that was the one that had the skip button. We're going to go ahead and click that skip and nothing else on this window once again. And now we're going to go ahead and say save in that same downloads folder. If you want to save it somewhere else, that is entirely up to you. I'm putting mine in there. Now it's going to go ahead and download it. And as soon as it blinks and it has a little icon, it's done. So there we go. That's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. I'm going to go back to my settings and over here at safe browsing, I'm going to turn that back on. So my computer is safe from future websites that I go to just in case there's something on there that's unsavory. Go ahead and close out the settings window and we'll go ahead and download some mods in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that right now. We're going to install Forge. So how we do that, open up our downloads folder and we're going to find the version of Forge you want to install. I'm going to install this 1.12.2 and double click it. It's going to pop up this mod system installer right here. It says uh, install client, install server or extract select the install client. If you want to install server, that's an entirely different process. Um, that, that's going to be an entirely different video, maybe for another day. If more of you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. If I get a, a lot of uh, requests for it, maybe I'll do a video on that. It's a lot more tricky. So we're going to say, go ahead and say, okay, on install client, and it's going to run through and it'll say successfully installed client profile forge for version forge 1.12.2 into launcher and say, okay, now we can minimize this window here or close it, whatever you want. And we're going to go ahead and run Minecraft just to see if it runs properly or if it failed or if it's conflicting, whatever, whatever the case. We're going to go to the very, very bottom. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and select Forge uh, for 1.12.2. And I'm going to say play. And it'll go ahead and load up. Now, mind you, the more mods you install on Minecraft, the laggier Minecraft becomes. So if you want to stick with 30, 40 mods that you know will work together, then I think you'll be okay. So, okay, so I loaded uh, Forge and it's going to have this weird jargon at the bottom, but it's going to basically prove that Forge is working. Minecraft 1.12 and Forge and four mods are loaded. If you load older versions of, mod, of uh, Forge, it'll say three mods are loaded. It requires loads. It requires loads. It requires mods to run. It runs on its own mods. You can't really turn those off if you want to play other mods. You turn off Minecraft now. Let's go find us some mods to throw into uh, into Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my favorite place to download mods is curseforge.com. For one main reason, it's owned by Amazon. Well, it's owned. CurseForge was bought by Twitch. Twitch is bought by Amazon. Amazon uh, doesn't want you to download uh any kind of viruses um, and they don't want you to damage your computer. So they're not going to allow that on their website. So I find this to be the safest place to download mods from. However, uh, if you want to choose to download mods from somewhere else, that's up to you. There are great websites out there. You can find mods that don't exist on here. Most of the mods, about 99% of all mods do exist on here. And it's a fairly safe place to do it. So I recommend going here. Now we're going to go ahead to the very top right here. Uh, and click on game version and we're going to say select 1.12.2 and say filter. Okay. And it reloaded with 1.12 mods, hopefully. <laughs> so the, the couple mods that I enjoy the most, uh, I'm going to download those and then we can go from, if you guys want to install more, obviously you do what you want to do. I'm going to install just enough items, which is probably my favorite, most useful mod I wish was in vanilla Minecraft. Uh, I can go ahead and select it and it'll show you, it pops up all the, uh, the different items you can make and it shows you the recipes for those items. So you don't have to guess on things, especially when you start installing mods, you may not know the recipes to some of those items that are within those mods. So I'm going to go ahead at the very top here. I'm going to say download in this little orange link and it's going to count down from five and it'll say it's going to automatically download into uh, into my downloads folder. So here's my downloads folder it popped up and it's going to say, do you want to download? I'm going to say save and it's going to blink. It downloaded just fine. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to install my second favorite mod is Tinker's Construct. 
since I know what it is, or if you know what it is right off the bat and you just want to download it, you don't want to read more about it, you can just simply click on the orange icon right here at the top right of that particular item and say download, and it'll do the same thing. It'll count down from five, and it'll pop up the downloads folder, and you go from there. There it is, Tinker's Construct, and say save. Now, downloaded that folder. Now, if it needs a library, it'll let you know when you run Minecraft. Um, I think Tinkler's Construct needs Mantle. So now we go ahead and minimize that window. And we're going to open up the dot Minecraft folder. You're going to hold down. If you're on a Windows PC, you're going to hold down the Windows key. It's right between the Alt and the Control key. And you're going to hit Windows key and R. And it's going to open up this run window. You see that? And you're going to type in this string here. I'll put a, a link or I'll put a uh, the text in the, the description below. You can just copy and paste it into this window. If you're using a Mac, you're going to hold down the command shift G, all three of those buttons, I'll put it, put it right up here. And then you're going to put in this string into the wind, into the go window, uh, for a Mac a Mac is going to be the, the, a different link. You're going to see it right here. All right. And you're going to click on, okay. On either one Mac or PC with depending on which one you input. And I'm going to put that string for the Mac in the description below as well. You can copy and paste it if you're using a Mac. So here we go, back to PC. I'll read the string out to you really quick. It's, it's a percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, backslash, dot Minecraft. So this I consider this the dot Minecraft folder and then backslash again and click on OK. And it's gonna pop up the Minecraft folder. Here it is. This is everything that runs Minecraft from the background that you don't normally see. Uh, it'll be mods right here in the middle um, in the ends. It'll be middle, it'll say mods. For any chance you don't get the mods folder, it's okay. When you installed Forge, Forge should have installed this mod, this mods folder. It's just a glitch in the install. Not a big deal. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom over here where there are no folders in this blank section. If you want, if you have to open up your window a little bit, so there's an empty section right here. You're gonna right click. Now this works both for PC and for Mac. You're gonna right click over here. You're gonna go to the very bottom, right above properties. It'll say new, and you're gonna click on folder in this little pop up that pops up. When you hover over new, it'll say folder. And then you get a folder over here that says new folder. You're gonna rename it M O D S all lowercase, no caps, no spaces. And then you're just gonna click off of it and forge and Minecraft will both recognize this folder as the intended mods folder. Now you're gonna open up the mods folder. You shouldn't have anything in it. It should be empty. I have rift in here because I have previous mods installed on my machine. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the downloads folder. And I'm going to find the mods I just downloaded. And here they are. Just enough items and Tinker's Construct. I'm going to drag them. I'm going to drop them right into my mods folder. I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to run Minecraft once again. And it should run. If it doesn't work, it will give me an error. I'm going to go ahead and click play on 1.12 Forge. So this is what I was talking about. If files are missing, um, like for Tinker's Construct. Tinker's Construct is huge. And there are other, plenty of other mods that require libraries. This one requires a library called Mantle. And it's saying it's missing right here. You must include the right dependency for Tinker's Construct requires Mantle. And this is the version it needs. So we're going to close this window and we're going to go back to our browser over here. And we're going to go back to where we just found Tinker's Construct. Mantle should be on the popular page. There it is. Number three. Third one down for 1.12 is Mantle. I'm going to go ahead and download Mantle, and it'll give me the same process that we just did. And it'll ask me to save in the downloads folder. We'll drag and drop it into the mods folder. I'll save that. We're going to hold down the Windows and R key again. And now that string should automatically be already in there. Um, if once you type it in there, it stays. The last thing you type in there stays in there um, until you change it. So I'm going to leave that in there. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Enter, and it's going to pop up the same Minecraft folder. I'm going to open up the mods folder. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up my downloads folder and I'm going to find mantle that we just downloaded. I'm going to drag that into there. I'm going to close that, I'm going to close that, and I'm going to relaunch Minecraft. It should work just fine. Again, play on 1.12 forge. So we know Minecraft is working because it didn't crash on us this time. I'm going to go ahead and click single player. I'm going to create new world. So first thing you're going to get in Tinker's contract, obviously materials and you. And if I hit E, it shows you this menu on the side here. And this is literally every item you can build. You can see Tinker's Construct has a lot of tools in it, and I absolutely love that. A lot of weapons, a lot of things you can build. Uh, makes makes life a little more interesting in the game of Minecraft, quite honestly. 
yeah dude so that's basically it that's how you download mods that's how you get around the uh the chrome version uh little issue there and if you guys have any questions um let me know in the comment section below if you guys like videos like this let me know by simply smashing the like button down below and if you're at all new to the channel if you guys can click that subscribe button it does help the channel out a great deal and while you're at it if you click the little bell it turns on notifications and it lets you do that to know when we upload our videos and until next time guys see ya yeah.